Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the tools panel inside Photoshop. So let's get started. Alright, before we actually begin guys, this is part 3 of my Photoshop quick start guide and today I really thought I should give you a quick overview of what you need to know when using the tools inside Photoshop. This is going to be very helpful. To check the other tutorials, kindly visit the channel link in the video description. So once you have Photoshop open up, you have different sections which are very important. Okay guys, for example here we have the layers panel, the channels and paths. And to the top here we have the options bar which is very practical and useful. And to the left we have the toolbar. Right now you are currently seeing a double column toolbar okay but you can click on this little pointing arrow right here to collapse and now you have one column so two columns and one column i prefer two columns by the way and notice that if we were to click on this bar right here and rip it off you can actually move those tools maybe to the right if you have some important work to do on this side of the screen or you can bring them back and to stack this panel back, you just grab this handle and until you see the blue line, you release. Okay guys, here we go. When you have a fresh copy of Photoshop installed on your machine, the default tool that will be selected is the rectangular marquee tool. Okay guys? And some of these tools right here have other tools that are hidden under them. For example, if we look at the zoom tool, you see it doesn't have that tiny mark. Okay? But if we look at the move tool, it has a tiny box beside it. It has this tiny triangular box, okay? What that box tells you is that if you click and hold for a moment, you can reveal other tools that are stuck in that same button. So if I come here, we see the default tool here is the lasso tool. If I click and hold, uh -huh, I release and reveal the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and the magnetic lasso tool. The same thing happens here, guys. This is it. And something which you need to know while using all these tools is that when you have a tool that has just one shortcut, in this case, we have W set for all these selection tools. What that simply means is that if currently we have the object selection tool active and with the W being the shortcut, if I need to go to quick selection tool, I will not have to click and hold and then navigate to quick select. But what I'll just have to do is to hold down shift key and then press W. Notice we now have the quick selection tool active. If I need to go to the magic one, which is beneath the quick selection tool, I will now press shift W to cycle to that tool. And if I need to go back to the first tool, I'll press shift W again, and it will take us back to the object selection tool. So that is very useful. Anywhere you see a single shortcut, know that you can use shift to cycle between all the tools. So the same thing happens here on the rectangular marquee tool. It has a keyboard shortcut of M. So you can press shift M to move to elliptical or back to the rectangular marquee tool. Irrespective of any tool you choose to use here, the second most important thing I wish you know from day one is that the settings in the options bar will always change depending on the tool that you are currently using. So right now we have the rectangular marquee tool selected and you see this drawing mode here. And by the way, guys, I've made a video explaining the rectangular marquee tool in details so you can check it out and learn more. So right now we have all these options here. But if I switch to the move tool, the options change automatically. And with the move tool, for instance, well, what does it do? It helps you to move things on the canvas, okay? This is your canvas. This is where all your projects live. So I can decide to come to my layers panel and I select maybe the happy layer. Here it is. And once the layer is selected with the move tool, I can be able to move the layer around just like so, okay guys? Then notice on the options bar, it is very practical and helpful because it has certain controls that are unique to this particular tool. For example, if I do not need to come to the layers panel and click on any layer before moving it around, I can just turn on auto select and by that way, I can be able to move like this hat just by clicking and moving around. Okay guys, very useful. And if I need to transform this hat, I can press ctrl T on the keyboard to transform. But I'm going to click to cancel out because even on the options bar, we have what is called show transform controls so i'm going to click that button to turn it on and now we see this tiny controls right there and i can click beside just to rotate like so and if i'm happy i confirm that transformation 
We also have some aligning options right here which I will explain in details in upcoming videos. So kindly subscribe to this channel to stay up to date guys. It's going to be very interesting. And if there is any tool on the toolbar which you find distracting or you don't use most often, you can actually remove that tool from Photoshop. Okay guys, the way to do that is by clicking on these three buttons right here. Then you go to edit toolbar. When this customizable toolbar menu opens up, we have all the tools grouped in their respective orders. You can drag maybe a rectangular marquee tool and stack it with the lasso tool if you want. But keeping them organized is a great way to work. So for instance, if I don't need the artboard tool, I can drag it onto the extra tools. Now it has disappeared from here. And because we have just one tool, we no longer see that triangular box. And then I'll click done. Now let us say you need that tool back. To bring it back, you simply go to the three dots again, then go to edit toolbar and you can just click on where it says restore default or you can drag that particular tool from here to the given section in my case i'm just going to click on restore default now we have the add board tool here and i can click and choose the move tool if you also hover on any tool you will have the tool shortcut this is very useful for example here on the eyedropper tool we have i as the keyboard shortcut and the move tool we have a keyboard shortcut of v the rectangular marquee tool and the elliptical marquee tool they share the same shortcut m the pen tool p the brush tool is b okay guys don't worry about memorizing all these tools as you use photoshop most often these tools will stick in your head naturally okay but it's always a good thing to know them as they help improve your efficiency as you start working with photoshop for the first time and sometimes if you have a new copy of photoshop just installed and you hover on any tool it will be able to show you what that tool can do on the screen a picture preview will come up demonstrating what that tool can do okay that is a rich tool tip to turn it off you can press ctrl k to go to your system preferences and under the preference dialog box you can go to tools and here you can see i have it turned off that is why it never showed on the screen but if you prefer it you can leave it on i prefer it turned off okay so i'm just going to click here to confirm so any tool that you select here on the toolbar, you can always go to the options bar to adjust the settings of that tool to make it perform the way you want. If I select the brush tool, okay, I can go to the options bar and then choose maybe the blending mode of the brush, change the opacity of the brush, change the flow, the smoothing, and even click on this button to adjust to make the brush work exactly as I want. And the last thing before I wrap up is you can also choose to reset all these tools back to their default state. Okay, guys. So if maybe you have the move tool selected or you have done some changes you can always come here on the options bar you right click on it and then you can see reset tool if you choose the first option it is going to reset just this particular tool but if you choose reset all tools all these tools here will be reset to the default so i'm going to choose reset all tools and then the warning will come up and i'll choose ok to assign a keyboard shortcut to any tool here you can go to edit go way down and then you see keyboard shortcuts when the keyboard shortcut window opens up you can click for example where it says shortcut for we change from application menus to the tools and here we go all the tools will have different shortcuts one tool i use most often is the foreground color so i'll have to scroll down till i see foreground color picker currently there's no shortcut assigned to that particular tool okay but if I need to give it a new shortcut, I can just come in the box here and then I type C. And by doing so, if there is any tool inside Photoshop that has this shortcut, Photoshop will tell you the name of that tool and inform you that that keyboard shortcut is already in use. So for example, in this case, we have the crop tool which has been assigned the keyboard shortcut C. But I always prefer to select the crop tool manually so I don't think this is going to affect my workflow that much. So I'm very much comfortable with this change. Then the next thing I just have to do is to click on accept. Then I press OK. Now if I need to change the foreground color here, I just press C and the color picker will open up and I can select any given color. So generally, that is a quick overview of the tools inside Photoshop, guys. We do not go in depth in this video because in upcoming lectures, I will be explaining these tools bit by bit. I've already started with the selection tools inside Photoshop. You can check the playlist down in the video description. So thank you for following along and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, I will be motivated to create more videos just like this in upcoming days. Thank you and I will see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye bye.